Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Moo Food and today we're going to be talking about courgettes. Um, if you're growing courgettes at home at that time of year, if they're going well, which mine apparently are not, um, if they're going well at home then you're going to, um, a couple of plants can give you loads of courgettes. So it's trying to figure out what to do with them because they really can appear all at the same time. Um, there's loads of things, um, different recipes you can do uh, with courgettes and I'll talk a, bit, a little bit about that at the end. But for this recipe we're just going to make a simple um, courgette pickle. And pickling is a great way of preserving your vegetables and um, that bit longer and using different herbs and spices you can really make it taste um, the way you want to make it to taste and it can be a really fun experiment to kind of um, try different kinds. I'm just making a small amount today and we're just going to use uh, one courgette which is about 225 grams around about um, you don't have to be too exact there um, one red onion one cup of red cider vinegar no it's not it's white wine vinegar um, one tablespoon of salt 75 grams of sugar and the spices we have t today are one teaspoon of mustard seeds and half a teaspoon each of celery salt dill seeds, turmeric and chilli flakes. Um, as you're storing your pickle, um, the flavours will intensify over a period of time, um, so a little bit of spice will end up being really quite spicy um, towards the end there. Um, yeah, so let's get started and uh, make our courgette pickle. So the first thing we're going to do is just going to um, really finely chop the courgette into thin slices. And then we're going to just put them into some iced water um, in this bowl um, which has salt in it as well. And then we're just going to leave it there for an hour. You're going to want to sterilise your jars for your pickle crochets. So just pop them into a cold oven at about 140 degrees for about 20 minutes before you take your courgettes out of the ice cold water and then you want to boil your lid tops for a good few minutes as well. So to make your pickling sauce you just want to add in your vinegar, your salt, sugar and all your spices in together. So you're just going to bring that to the boil and then make sure that all the sugar has dissolved before taking that off. Once your courgettes have been um, in the bowl for an hour, you just want to drain them, drain as much water as you can off them and then just blot them dry with a little um, paper towel. The less water that's on them, the less diluted your pickles will be. So you want to get as much water off them as you can. So now you've got your sterilised jars. These are hot, they're just out of the oven. You've got your boiled lids and your hot liquid because it's best to put these in when everything is hot to hopefully keep it sterilised and keep any unwanted bacteria out of there. So what you're going to do is just layer in some courgettes into your jar and then some onions. And then just pour over your pickling sauce. You want to make sure that your veg is covered with the, the sauce. And that's done, you just want to pop your lid on, make sure it's nice and tight and then give it a good shake and then with these jam jars um, it should create a vacuum because of the heat that's involved and then the, the dip there should go down and then you'll know that it's sealed properly and that's it so now you've got your jar of um, pickled courgettes and if you keep them in a cool dark place um, and don't open it they'll be good for a few months um, and if you do want to open it you want to keep it in the fridge they'll probably be better within a, with eaten within a week, but they will keep longer in your fridge. Um, so just keep an eye on it. If it's been sterilized properly, um, they will keep for a long time. 
other things you can do with courgettes, um, you can find some recipes on the Moo Food website, including uh, courgette fritters, uh, courgette curry. Um, you could also try um, spiralized courgette and have that as a salad. And also courgette cake is good too. Um, there's lots of things you can do. And that's just one example um, of how you can preserve them for a little bit longer. Thanks for watching and hope to see you back here next time. Thank you.